deep text. Daddy, what are you up to? I just got back from work, honey. Okay. What's up? Oh, hey, about your birthday next month. Did you decide what you want? Um, yeah, I want to go to the theme park with you, Daddy. Theme park, huh? <laughs> Sounds good. One day after your birthday. I got the day off, so how about that? The day after my birthday? Oh, I can't. Oh, you got plans? It's a Sunday, right? Um, we're going on vacation. What? But what about school and stuff? Not sure, but Mom said so. She's working again? Huh? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh. Um, did you notice anything different about her recently? Huh? Uh, I don't know. She got a new car. Car? But her friend was driving it, so maybe she gave it to him as a gift? A gift? Is that a bad thing? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Look, forget I said anything. How are you doing, Meg? You having fun at school? Yeah, but Mom is always going out, so I'm always alone at the house. Oh, I see. Sorry to hear that, Meg. Mom and I aren't living together anymore, but... I still love you. You mean everything to me, Meg. Don't forget that. You can always talk to me, okay? I'm here for you. Okay. I'll talk to Mom about the theme park and set a date. See you soon. Okay. <laughs> Meg! Give me a call as soon as you see this. But don't tell Mom that I told you to do so. Meg! You there? Meg! Daddy, what's going on? Meg! Where are you? Um, I'm home. I'm having a birthday party with Mom. I'll be there in a few minutes. You gotta get out of there. Can you stick out of the house? Don't let Mom see you. What? Why? We're about to eat cake, though. I'll buy you all the cake you want. Please, listen to me. What's going on? Is everything okay, Dad? Um... Not really. Is Grandma there too? At the birthday party? Nope. It's just my uncle and aunt. And Mom. That's it. I see. I'm heading over there. Can you stick out of the house? Don't let them see you. What about my birthday party, though? Please, this is really important. If you do this for me, you'll never have to listen to me again. You can do anything you want. I'll buy you anything you want. So please, Meg, do as I say. Please. Um, okay, Dad, if you say so. I just have to leave the house without them knowing, right? Right. Okay, I'm in the bathroom. I'll leave now. Oh, but Mom is calling my name. Oh. But it's fine. I told her I had a stomach ache. Okay. I'll be right there. Once you're outside, hide. Okay. Rob, what the hell? You took Meg, didn't you? I know it was you. What if I did? I'm still her father. I didn't break the law. So what? She's living with me. I'm her legal guardian. Your job is to send us money every month. That's it. Give her back right now. You tried to sell her off. Screw you. You're never seeing her again. What? What on earth are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. You told her you were going on vacation, but you are planning to sell her to your distant relatives. And the new car, the vacations. How did you afford all that, huh? I thought you were unemployed. I hired a PI to look into you. I couldn't believe it when he told me that you were trying to sell your own daughter. What the hell is wrong with you? You make me sick. What? A P.I.? You stalker! What's wrong with you? You're still not over me? You're such a creep. Shut up! Stop trying to change the subject! I asked you how you bought all those nice things, but you never answered me. I had no choice. And before the divorce, I knew you were cheating on me, but I had no proof. As a result, I couldn't do anything about it. So this time, 
I decided to get proof first. I learned from my mistakes. What? Uh, how much did it cost to hire a PI? Stop wasting money on that. Send us the money instead. I pay child support every month. Isn't that enough? You don't even have to work. You should be grateful. Whatever. Get off my back. And I'm not selling her off. But my relatives, they really wanted a daughter. So I made them an offer. They're loaded. They can get Meg anything she wants. I thought it would be for the best. I just want what's best for her. But they're paying you $200,000 for, right? Sounds like human trafficking to me. What do you have to say about that, huh? And she's my daughter, too. You didn't even say anything about this. Wait, how do you know all of this? How much do you know? You really want to know? My PI got you on tape. You're an idiot. You were talking about this out loud in public. Tape? Wow, so creepy. Whatever, fine, I admit it. But think about it. We'll still be her parents. That's not gonna change. They're just gonna borrow her for a few years, that's all. And they're super rich. It's for the best. Trust me on this one. But then, why didn't you say anything to Meg, huh? This is her life we're talking about. She knew nothing about this. I've had it. I'm taking Meg and that's final. I knew you couldn't be trusted. I gave you a chance, but you blew it. You're never seeing her again. Thought you loved her. Well, I decided to give you a chance, but I guess I was wrong. I should have known better. What? Of course I love her. But this is 200 grand we're talking about here. It's a win-win for everyone. Think about it. That's not my point. Listen, I'll split the money with you, okay? Happy now? No! She's not going anywhere. Money has nothing to do with this. But I need the money. I got a new car. And they already gave me a deposit. If I back out now, I'm gonna have to give it back. I don't give a crap. And you'll be fine. They'll feed you three times a day in jail. Huh? How dumb are you? You tried to sell your own daughter. That's illegal, you idiot. What? Jail? Are you overreacting a bit? I'm just helping out a relative, that's all. I didn't break the law. Well, tell that to the police then. But I got you on tape, so <laughs> it's not gonna end well for you. Once they check your bank account, you're screwed. What? I... Whatever, I'll be fine. I'll just make something up and... You're such an idiot. Use your brain for once. Screw you! And these text messages. This is gonna come in pretty handy. Looks like the evidence is stacking up. You can try to delete it, but you can't delete the data on my phone, so you're out of luck. You're an asshole. I'm glad I left you. <laughs> right back at ya. Meg is staying with me, and that's final. Don't ever come near us again. We're done. Fine, listen. You can have her, okay? But please don't tell the cops. What? Look, I'm getting married soon. I only took Meg for the child support money. You can have her, okay? Just don't go to the cops. Please. Please, he's a man of my dreams. I want to start over fresh. Oh, is that so? But, uh... I don't think he feels the same way about you. What does that mean? You're talking about the guy you were seeing when we were still married, right? Uh, no. Well, okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Wait, hold on. What do you know about this? Tell me. Oh, well... The guy you're dating? He doesn't love you. He's just using you for the money. My PI looked into it for me. And that car you gave him? My PI saw him driving it with another girl. He's actually engaged to her. They even live together. So yeah, I don't think he's gonna marry you. You probably shouldn't have given him the car, but... Oh well, too late I guess. That can't be! No, you're lying! <laughs> Sucks for you! Ah, oh, whatever, not my problem. You did this to yourself, so... Figure it out. No, this isn't happening. Wait, you're lying, aren't you? You're just trying to mess with my head. You should probably talk to him yourself if you don't believe me. 
And, uh, if I were you, I'd be worried about myself. You're going to prison, so... Whatever. Have fun in jail! So Dad saved me at the last minute. Mom and her relatives got arrested for human trafficking. Not sure about the details, but she wasn't coming out for a long time. Her relatives didn't get any prison time though, but they had to pay a huge fine. They were wealthy, so they probably hired a really good lawyer or something. But after, everyone found out about what they tried to do. Within a few months, their company went out of business. So why did they want me in the first place? They wanted me to marry their son. He had a disability and they were looking for someone who was willing to take care of him. When they showed up at my birthday party, I thought they were just some relatives, so I was pretty shocked when I found out about all of this. Thank goodness Dad saved me. Who knows what could have happened? When Dad texted me, I was pretty scared, but I'm glad I listened to him. After Mom got out of prison, she had nowhere to go, so she went back to her parents' house. But they knew about what she did, so she didn't get past the front door. After that, she went to her boyfriend's house and tried to hurt him. But the police arrived before she could do any serious damage. Looks like it's back to prison for her. I had no idea she was like this, so... Anyways, Dad and I moved out of town right after she went to prison. I had to switch schools, which was kind of tough, but... I made a lot of new friends, so I guess it all worked out. I'm just glad she's out of my life. And I have the best dad in the world, so I think I'm gonna be fine. Time to move on with my life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.